Y'all be saying that wrong. I only lost in the amateurs in boxing. It's, she's not my only loss in the amateurs or the professionals. I've never lost in the professionals. I'm undefeated. So I lost to her 10 years ago in the amateurs by six points, eight points to 14. It doesn't bother me um, at all because I've been able to be successful after that. You know, but on the other end, you got her lost every tournament she was in after that. In those same tournaments, I won gold. So, you know, having one loss in the amateurs and being able to turn pro and do everything that I've done, uh, I don't really, I don't really care about it. But I think it's a great story. It's a great storyline. Um, I guess we got history. She don't like me. I don't like her. And I look forward to the fight in six weeks. Do you ever think about where you are right now in your career and what you? done for the sport and for young women like yourself from Flint to like you doing the kids camp and they can see you, they can touch you and be around you. You don't really get that with athletes. So do you ever think about that and the impact you're having? Welcome. Uh, it's fight week. It is fight week. I'm hype. Uh, this Saturday here in the States, it's going to be broadcast on um, ESPN plus the app. 2 p.m. Eastern over in the UK. It's going to be on regular Sky Sports, not pay-per-view. We're going to get a magnificent card between Clarissa Shields, two division undisputed champion, three division champion overall, 168, 160, 154. She's been undisputed at 154 and 160, and she's going back for undisputed again after her run at 154, back to 160 to take on her rival, Savannah Marshall. 12 and 0 with 10 KOs. This woman is good. My bad, we're going to talk about you later on, Spider. Clarissa Shields, 12 and 0 with two KOs, 27 years old, listed at 5 foot 8. Met her in um, Atlantic City at Joe Smith versus uh, Jesse Hart. That was the same night that Franchon's crew, Franchon Cruz de Zern, uh, fought Alejandra Jimenez. And, you know, her trainer, Barry Hunter, snatched her wig out of her head. Wild shit. Thanks for the super chat, JC. Great year for women's boxing. Yes, it has been. Also on this card. How dare you? How dare you? Also on this card, you're going to have Michaela Mayer, WBO and IBF champion at 130 pounds, taking on Alicia Baumgartner, uh, WBC champion after defeating Terry Harper at 130 pounds. So it's a three belt uh, unification right there. Han Mi Choi has the WBA and she's doing like Korean modeling on Instagram. So she don't really seem like she really want to fight. But you have the uh, sister of uh, Daniel Dubois, Caroline Dubois on the card. Lauren Price. It's an all women's boxing show. With um, Christina Poncher, female announcer, obviously, <laughs> uh, doing commentary, doing lead commentary here in the States for uh, ESPN Plus. So I'm looking forward to it. It's three fights, really four fights in particular. Let me show you uh, the card real quick. Particularly, I'm I'm looking forward to. Here's the card, just to read it all for you. Uh, Shields versus Savannah Marshall, Michaela May versus Alicia Baumgartner. I made sure to put out two different individual videos on that. And if you check out um, my podcast, the link is right up at the top. Uh, please help me out. Download the Fight View 360 podcast available on your podcast listening platforms. We are very close to um, meeting the uh, monetization requirements. And basically, I'm not going to be doing it for my health. You dig really trying to uh, grow it as we're trying to get like some real high quality guests on the uh, show sooner than uh, later. But I'm going to be here covering this card on Saturday. And then, of course, at night for the uh, UFC heads, you're going to have UFC uh, 279. So, yes, we're going to talk about the we're going to talk about the spar. I mean, we're going to talk about the amateur tape. Give me a minute. Let me go through the particulars. All right, we're going to talk about the sparring tape. All right, give me a minute. I'm uh, not the sparring. The uh, amateur fight. Just give me a minute. Damn it. Uh, so you have um Clarissa Shields, Savannah Marshall main event, Michaela Mayer versus Alicia Baumgartner. That that could have been its own card. You have uh, the sister of uh, Daniel Dubois, WBA world champion. Um, uh, Caroline Dubois taking on a Melina Kaliva. Ebony Jones taking on a Vanessa, Vanessa uh, Caballero. Jenny, I don't know who these women are except for Lauren Price. You know, April Hunter, Caroline Dubois. But it's an all-female card. It's an all-female card. 
And you know what even kind of pisses me off? They got Sarah Le- Leagman, 4-0, taking on a Beck Conley. Beck Conley has been getting her ass beat so many times this year. Like, bro, like, come on, Beck. I mean, she's got a great personality and all that shit, you know, and she's tough. But it's like, really? Y'all just going to keep wheeling her out there? They're going to they're gonna get the woman killed. Like, she be getting her ass beat. You know, uh, 3 of 15 with 5 KOs, 38 years old. Lady Luck. Luck ain't been with her for a while. You know, she got stopped against uh, Jordan Baker. Stopped against Ebony Jones. Um, put it this way. She had four fights this year. This would be her fifth. Three of which she was stopped. The only person that didn't stop her back in March, and she could have if she would have stepped on the gas, uh, Sky Nicholson. She got stopped by Ebony Bridges uh, and um, lost the points on to Ramla Ali and to Ellie Scottney and to Rachel Ball. So that goes to show you she's getting worse. So she went the distance with Ellie Scott. And she Oh, she got stopped by Natasha Jonas, too, who just fought this week and defended her um, and picked up another belt at 154. So she got stopped by Jonas, went the distance with Rachel Barr. What the hell is going on with her? I think she's still injured. Went the distance with Ellie Scott. He went the distance with Ramla Ali. Went the uh, stop by uh, Ebony Bridges. Bro, like, come on, man. You're killing me. This is very painful to see. It was very painful. So overall, I'm digging the card. And there's a lot of content out for both of these fights, meaning uh, Shields and Marshall. And uh, Marin Baumgartner, for example, um, let's go look at the Sky Sports page real quick just to show you between ESP and Sky Sports. They have a lot of content out for like here. Um, let's go to top rank first. And I've been, as you can see, look, you can see I've been watching like all of it. I've been watching all of it. I'm supposed to watch this after. But Sky Sports has a wealth of content for the fight. You know, for example, you got this right here with Felicia Baumgartner. Let's go check in a little bit. Any arena in the U.S. We're grateful to have Look at her. She got the cat suit on. Have it here in the U.K. You can see that Felicia <laughs> Baumgartner, Michaela Mayo have joined us now. Michaela, I'll come straight to you. Um, just how excited are you for this fight of the weekend and set it up for us? I mean, we're not getting it wrong, are we? This, this is a grudge match. It's a grudge match. It's turned into a mega fight. Um, this is exactly what I wanted. This is this is why I did all the talking that I did was to get to this point. So um, I'm I'm happy it's finally here. Alicia, same question to you. Tasha's going to take the mic for you. Yeah, no, big fight Saturday again. This is this is history. This is legacy. This is um, you know moving the needle in women's boxing, and we are here. There is bad blood between. Yeah, I haven't watched all of this yet, but they had a little handshake at the end. Let's go watch that. We can watch that piece. But or heard coaches don't. Strong ass handshake. Could could I offer a handshake? You don't have to take it. Would you shake each other's hand, or is it not that point? Watch how strong this handshake is. Look at that strong ass handshake. Okay. Okay. Probably squeezing the shit out of her hand. Probably was squeezing the shit out of her hand. But yeah, they got a lot of uh uh. Uh, quality content you know they're really going hard with this uh women's boxing fight and uh b- boxing card and it's not a pay-per-view i mean look at all of this i mean look at all of this here let's go peek into um gloves are off for those who didn't get a chance to see it was in front of me Musea was a 140 140- You two have sparred before. Who wants to tell me about it? Oh, we sparred in Colorado. She remembers what happened. Tell me about it. She couldn't do nothing with me in there. And that was 2016, prior to the Olympics. That's why we see I won gold and she won nothing. You got served six rounds. No, we done four rounds, Chris, and nothing happened. Okay. You won them four rounds? Girl, girl, your face was pert, was... Oh, oh, yeah. Orange as a pumpkin yeah. got done. You've never made no one's face look like a pumpkin? See, that's what you say. But I beat everybody unanimous decision. I've knocked out world champions. You fought you low-class opponents. Who have you knocked out? Who have you knocked out? Let's talk about that. I've, I haven't said anything about knocking people out. I'm asking you, who have you knocked I'm out? I'm asking you, who have you knocked out? Looked at me records. A lot of girls who were bums. Maria Lindbergh, three-day replacement. Me? Of I'm not Musea Gordo. was a 147 pounder. Who well, have you fought against that was elite? Who was elite? Do you realize how hard I Who am? Who was a match? elite? Do you realize how hard I am a match? 
who was elite. So I did a whole video and podcast podcast on uh, both of these and all of this showed the content pretty much um, gloves are off where they sit down with uh, um, skinny, skinny jeans wearing uh, Sky Sports Johnny Nelson. Um, I covered uh, did a video on what's the other one behind the behind the ropes. That's like their, you know, HBO 24 seven Showtime all access to equate it to something. Um, ew, and I covered this fight this week in between Liam Smith and that uh, and that um, uh, Quentin guy. Ew, ew, that was nasty. But um, one thing for sure is both of these ladies have been. I mean, all four of them have been really promoting the shit out of this card with all the trash talking and everything. And um, I'm putting my neck out there, but not really. Despite what I've seen from the uh, amateur tape, and let's pull it up right now. Let's go take a look at this amateur tape. And I'm hoping we're going to go take a look at this amateur tape. We're going to we're going to for you, the people, this is what I do. We're going to push it a little bit and we're going to show you some of this uh, some of this tape that was finally released. So I did a video yesterday about I put a title up um, on a previous video. I believe it was the video before this when I was like somebody's lying about the sparring tape because both of them had different accounts of what happened. Not the sparring, um, the amateur tape. Both of them had different accounts on the gloves are off about what happened. In fact, before we go watch this tape, I'm going to go to my trusty Fight View 360 boxing podcast script book and I'm going to pull up the timestamp for where they both had different things to say about this amateur boxing uh, match. And one thing I want to point out, one thing I want to point out is you don't hardly ever hear Savannah Marshall talking about it as much as Clarissa Shields. And I watch these fights. I cover these women. And you hear Clarissa Shields more talking about, oh, well, yeah, she beat me in the amateurs, but it's the amateurs. But you don't never like really hear Savannah Marshall, like, I beat you in the amateurs, or posted, I beat you in the amateurs. It's always Clarissa Shields, in my opinion, and Savannah Marshall reacting off of that. And that's how you can tell it really bothers Clarissa. Because, in my opinion, she's the one that keeps bringing it up. But let's go watch this. Uh, let's go. Let me pull this up real quick. Marshall. Not often. Let me see. What's the timestamp? Is it eight? I got my timestamps here. Here it is. I think it's right here. Here it is. Now listen to this. Ash. So you won't be wearing that. Then. I won't be wearing that. I should slap you. Everybody else. Zip it. Savannah Marshall. Zip it, Miss. You've been pro five years and got one belt. If I was Clarissa Shears, the first thing I'd do is I'd hide that awful necklace in the bin. <laughs> What, the gold I'd be going necklace. straight in the trash. So you won't be wearing that then? I won't be wearing that. I should slap you. Are you talking about something you want to be the quote? Or, or, or you the quote because you beat me 10 years ago? Slap, slap, slap. She's got like a bit of a bravado going on, hasn't she? Because I remember last time in Newcastle, they're all shouting, who are you? Who are you? And she was going, you want to know who I am? Here's the part right here. When they were talking about this, uh, the amateur match, I was going to say sparring again. It's like this never come out to the public, this fight before. Never. So no one's ever actually, no one's ever unless actually you've seen it, assure them yourself. Do you, do, you, do you even have it or not? No. I've watched it though, JB had it. Why would they take the fight off the internet? When have they ever, in the history of boxing, hid a fight from the internet? You cannot put this fight up on the internet and have the fans watch it and have them decide who won? Because if we do that, this fight dies. Because she supposed to knock me out. She told everybody she destroyed me. She beat me down. She hurt. The footage don't lie. And I have the footage. Look how bouncy, bouncy. I am on my toes. Yeah, you're not like that, you're not really. Not like that no more. Mm. Whereas Clarissa's already got a pro style here. When I got there, I remember everyone talking about this American, this American who was unbeaten. Then I got the draw sheet and it was like, Savannah, you've got the winner of America and India. <laughs> you get told every round the score, so she knows she's down here. So she's having to come so out. So she's having to come out and have a go. Oh, oh, wait a minute, just so y'all know. 
If you can zoom in. The fight started. She didn't Look, have she's no got shit. it on her phone. This third round. I was on her like a pit bull on a goddamn rabbit. I chased her all over the ring. I chased her. She's sweating. Because obviously this was her first ever loss. And it, it's hard for her. Ooh, obviously, like she never, yeah. never experienced Ten it Ten-year run, she's still whinging. <laughs> Let me go to her face real quick. Because that baby was red. Because I was punching her hard in the face. She's got good feet. What, she's got you? a good job, yeah. How about you? She doesn't look very strong. Are you... Can we let the skinny arms? No, no. So, I'm going to do something unprecedented here. This is what we're going to go do. And um, Sky Sports is going to take this video and demonetize it, and it may not be up tomorrow. So what we're going to do is, for you, the people, thanks for the super chat, uh, La Munica, La Munica, sub T Street, Marshall by TK, TK, or you think Ortiz Chisora would be good? Great content. Thank you. We'll talk about uh, Ortiz Chisora later on. But since we got to move on, guess what? Guess what? We're going to go watch the tape. We're going to decide right here, right now, who won that amateur fight. Let's go watch the tape. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. I'm T Street Controversy with Fight View 360. This is for educational, news reporting, promotional, broadcasting purposes, fair use. We're promoting the fight. It's going to be live on ESPN Plus this weekend, Saturday, September the 10th at 2 p.m. Eastern. Download the ESPN Plus app. It's going to be on Sky Sports over in the UK. Download the Sky Sports boxing app if they have one. But let's go watch the tape. Let's go watch the tape. So I did a video yesterday on where's the tape and somebody's lying. But guess what? As I released the video, not even an hour later, Sky Sports released the tape. And we got the tape right here. Let me let me put it in the VCR. Hold on, give me a minute. Let me let me fix the tuner. Let me fix the tuner. Hold on. Let me fix the tracker so we can get the static out. Let's go watch the tape. Ten years ago, 2012. Savannah Marshall in the blue, Clarissa Shields. They meet in China. Let's go watch the tape. It's got some fucking music. I'm gonna turn that shit off. Let me put my own soundtrack. Put my own soundtrack on that joint. Anyway. So it is a point scoring system in the amateurs. And you can see how, and it is true. Savannah, I mean, um, Carissa Shields looked much better, like overall, like as a boxer. Like look at her stance, like looking real sharp. To where Savannah's looking real, you know, like jittery on her feet. And she doesn't fight like this no more. She fights a lot better than she did. And this is not just because, you know, we're, we're fine. Now, I, I do admit from what I've seen, I do feel that uh, Clarissa Shields should have won. Which is probably why you don't really hear Savannah Marshall, Marshall boasting about it. Uh, Savannah Marshall trained by uh, Peter Fury. Shares camp with uh, Huey Fury, Peter Fury, uh, trained, uh, the uncle, trained Tyson Fury. Clarissa Shields trained by John David Jackson. Former trainer of Sergey Kovalev, <clears throat> former opponent of uh, Bernard Hopkins. He used to always remind me of uh, Blanca from Street Fighter when he had like the hair. Except he wasn't green. Yeah, amateur judging is very dodgy. But I just feel that um, what, what do we know of Savannah Marshall right now? I feel that she has enough of a skill set to be able to keep her, especially now that she's better 10 years later, to be able to keep um, Clarissa Shields off of her. Clarissa Shields is going to have to play the pressure fighter. But remember, this Savannah Marshall girl, she's six feet tall and she does have a jab. And the way she's boxing now, it is 10 years ago. It is the amateurs. But she's good. You know how the famous uh, boxing story goes about how Sean Porter defeated Alexander Usyk in the amateurs like 
the fuck? You know? <clears throat> you know, there's always that. But I'm really hyped about this car. But as you can see, if there, if, if you were to say, you know, in, in pro boxing terms, who's the ring general? Who's the ring general? It's clearly Carissa. Clearly. I also want to be putting some tunes on, right? Put a little tunes on in the background. Let's watch this. Let's watch the tape. Christina Heimer was on, but I consider um, Savannah Marshall because every time I talk about how Savannah Marshall going to win, there's always somebody pulling Christina Hammer out there as well. Christina Hammer was six feet tall, too. Or what about Christina Hammer? You know, she they said she was the best. Savannah Marshall, in my opinion, will put a boot in Christina Flopper's ass. Christina Hammer, no good flopper, too, if y'all don't know. No bullshit. She flopped. Let's watch the tape. Put some music in the back. Keep it a little low. Let's go watch this tape.
I don't know, guys. So who do you think won? Now, you know what I noticed about the second half of the fight? Um, Clarissa Shields was clearly slowing down and she started swinging really wildly, wildly in desperation. But in a, in a point scoring system, it's a very it, it was it was, you know, but you can't say you can't say that either party clearly won. You know, and I'm guessing maybe they were looking at, you know, the cleaner punching. Clarissa Shields was aggressive, but I'm guessing they were looking at the cleaner punching. You know, like Clarissa was kind of smothering her her shots in 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 the point system. You know, you know what? You know what, though? Um, Anthony Jones said Clarissa is more polished now, but that, but didn't it seem like she sat on her punches more then? She's definitely more polished. You know, we see like she can box. You know, she's not just a um like she's not just a pressure fighter power puncher anymore, but not like she was not like she was a power puncher. But she can definitely she can definitely box. We know if you've seen her last couple of fights, she's shown like that she can really like she can box. She's not just out there pressuring and being all sloppy like she was in uh previous fights. You know, but this Savannah Marshall girl, let me try to pull you up some tape of her so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Like, this girl ain't no joke. Like, for real. Like, she's not no joke, bro. And then we got to move on to the next topic. We're, uh, we're already a half an hour in. Savannah Marshall. Let me see if I can find some footage that's uh, copyright free, like some old ass... See if I can find when she was with Mick Hennessy. There we go. Hopefully Mick Hennessy don't give us no shit. Oh, we're doing this for educational purposes, Mick. But this girl like ain't no joke, bro. Like it's a different style than what she's seen before. And this was years ago. How long? How old was this fight? 2018, four years ago. But, you know, as you can see, like that bounce is not like in her step no more. You know, like where like she's sitting on her punches and she's got all that 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 confusing head movement. Well, both of these girls between her and Savannah Marshall, uh, Clarissa Shields and Marshall, they both got a lot better. You know, like this is the best both of them will be. Let's see if we can get you some highlights. Did they have some highlights around here somewhere? You like this girl ain't no joke. Oh, here we go with the with the insults. Make, make it happen says you sound stupid. Savannah Marshall is average. Here we go. Here we go. Look at Engel with them questionable ass picks with Kel Brook and Tenerife. Here we go. I've been getting the verbal beating all day. Not verbal, but in like the YouTube comments. I've been getting cyber bullied because I'm picking uh Savannah Marshall. People calling me stupid and shit. Like, I'm a person, too. You know, I got like feelings and stuff. But that ain't cool, man. It's 2022. You guys need to grow up. But then again, I cuss your ass out, too. Like, don't get it twisted. I, was, I don't, don't get me to cussing. You know, they see about people from Philly. We will roast you. But uh, the next topic we're going to talk about is we got to talk about um, uh, Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva, which was officially announced today. You know? Savannah Marshall has been having issues getting fights because, you know, in a women's division where she can compete at one, you know, once you get to 154 and above the competition, you know, starts becoming like real limited, like for real, for real. That's that's just facts. That's why you have people like uh, or fighters like Natasha John Jonas and uh, Terry Harper fighting at 154 because they can do that because the skill level. Once you go from 154 on up, the skill level just starts like diminishing, like for real, like big time. So, you know, Clarissa Shields had issues getting like, you know, um, um, significant fights herself. But, you know, she had a good promotional and, and managerial team that they really pushed forward and pushed forward and pushed forward. And they've been able to build her to be who she is right now. But, you know, as far as uh, Savannah Marshall is concerned, she hasn't been able to get that because, for one, she's very dangerous. Women don't want to fight her. 
And number two, you know, the, like she's really, in my opinion, a 168 pounder competing at 168. And she can definitely fight at 175, but it ain't nothing up there. Anytime you have Hannah Gabriels being a light heavyweight champion, she might be heavyweight champion. I don't even know. You know, that goes to show you how, like, once you get above a certain um, uh, place, um, I mean, a, a certain weight class, you know, the competition starts getting real, real limited, you know. But now, you know, they're fighting. It's going to be this weekend. I'm going to be here. I'm hype. You know, um, I am picking Savannah Marshall, you know, mostly because, you know, if I was her power, her size and her reach, you know, the jab is going to really be really be the key. I want to see if she's going to be able to jab Clarissa Shields head off. They are both are going to be the toughest challenge they've both faced in their career. And that's just it is what it is. And we just sat there and sat here and watched the um, the amateur tape. And if you really think about it, there's not like somebody was dominating. It's not like um, it, it was a tale of two halves. The first half, you know, Clarissa Shields came out like a bat out of hell, you know, and she was landing some big shots. And then the second half, it seemed that though um, seems that seems as though Savannah Marshall got her footing. And, you know, she started, you know, being the better boxer. You see what I'm saying? But either way, we're going to be here. You know, so put your money where your mouth is. T-Street don't gamble. T-Street don't. He try not to sin, you know, or, or you know, letting, letting any vices into his life it's besides marijuana, medicinal marijuana. But um, I'm going to be here streaming during the main event. And we're not just going to be here streaming during the main event. For the first time, I've never done this before, but we're going to be streaming during the co-main event, too. Um, Michaela Mayer versus Alicia Baumgartner. Got to. I'm very excited about both of these fights. And remember, though, we must point out, ah, they're two-minute rounds. So these fights are going to blow by. Whack, trash, and I know at least Michaela Mayer, I don't know about the other three women, but they. I, I know at least Michaela Mayer, you know, once more pay if she's going to fight three minute rounds. I understand the logic. Be I, I, okay, I understand her point, but the logic is a little flawed because it's like, you know, y'all be wanting to eat, like to be equal and everything and want to get paid more, but y'all want to do less. It's just, don't get me started because I don't want to get canceled. You see what I'm saying? You know, like, but these shit should be three minute rounds. Like, you know, anytime you got the UFC women kicking each other in the head, going five minutes around, you know, four or five rounds if it's a championship fight. Nah, I'm not trying to hear that shit. Y'all want equal pay. You know, y'all got to step up to the plate, start doing them three-minute rounds. You know, y'all y'all got to really start going out there because it happens a lot in women's boxing where a fighter will start getting some momentum and maybe a knockout or stoppage may be coming, and then boom, the round is over. It's like, no, that ain't it. Especially with especially with the way that they're building these uh, female athletes, these female boxers to be athletes. Have you seen Terry Harper today? Let me go pull up Terry Harper. And and tell me, you know, that you don't want to see her fighting. No, no three minute rounds. Like, I'm not like, no, like, no. You know, if there's anything, you know, y'all want to be, you know, like the quote and all that. Like, you know, no three minute rounds. You know, you're talking about fighting Keith Thurman. Like, look, tell me, look, that's Terry Harper at 154. Former 130-pound champion that got knocked out by Alicia Baumgartner, who's fighting at 130. Vada, call her right now. Go get that piss. I'm not accusing, but I'm saying, like, look at this. And y'all not fighting three-minute rounds? Look at this woman. Look at those guns. Look at those legs. God damn. Oh, that's me. Follow me on Twitter. A two street controversy. That was me 12 hours ago. I posted that. I'm like, bro. Man, you don't want to do no three minute rounds. I'm not trying to hear that shit. Yeah, because Michaela Mayer, and I forgot who else said it, um, said something along the lines of, well, they want us to pay fight three minute rounds and they got to pay me more than what I'm paying getting now. And it's like, I understand that. But how do you account that in when different fights are worth different money? You know? No, this still is like, yo, look at her fucking arms, bro. Like, this shit is wild, bro. She went from 130 to fucking 154. Like, this shit is wild. 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 So you damn right I'm going to be looking like, yo. You know? But anyway, 